What's up everybody? Tindo here and with me I've got a hair loaf and we have been thrift shopping as you can clearly see from this pile of junk on the table before us. We took a trip to the Goodwill Bins today and if you don't know the Goodwill Bins is just this magical place where all the Goodwills in the land just dump their stuff all in one place and you get to dig through it. I think that's a pretty apt description don't you? Yeah it's fair. Well that's where we went today we came home with some great stuff so let's go there let's look around and then we'll come back here we'll talk about everything that we got today. Check this out. Today is a good day because today is the day that we go to the Goodwill Bins. And before we jump into this, guys, leave me a comment below and let me know what is some of the weirder stuff that you collect. Because this is going to come up again later in the video. And I want you to go ahead and comment it now so we can talk about it more then. What's something you collect? It doesn't have to be video games. It can be video games. It can be an odd type of video games. I want to know comment below but let's jump into the bins here it's always a great day when we get to go to the bins we haven't been going as much now as when we did when we started the channel but that's just because we kind of been traveling a bunch and things kind of threw off our rhythm but we're back home now and ready to get into it well hannah is i'm actually leaving for another trip myself soon so hannah's actually going to be shopping here every day while i'm gone just to keep herself busy and i wish her luck i'm kind of jealous i'd like to spend a whole week at the bins but it's already a good trip to the bins today because I've found these like, these are like loot boxes, but instead of toys and stuff, they're, they're electronics. So <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to take the parts out of these boxes that I might be able to use in future projects. And I think it's a pretty good find. It's a pretty good start for the day. This is the exact kind of weird stuff that I find at the Goodwill bins constantly. And then here's a Nerf clip. I always buy these here because again, you pay for everything here by weight. It's a pretty cool deal. So all this stuff's going to be pretty cheap. And then here is a fresh bin full of books. And I saw video games right on the top. That means that means it's kind of tough, but it means I have to dig this whole bin up. And it's kind of a bummer. Sometimes you just can kind of peek and see, you know what, there's probably no games in here. But as soon as you start finding some, that means that some Goodwill somewhere has just tossed all of their leftover games into a bin and you can dig through it so i actually scoot a lot of it to one side and then start going through everything kind of one by one just to make sure i don't leave behind any video games and today was a pretty good day for it today i found more video games in the bins than i probably normally do in a trip usually i'll just find one two or three but sometimes it pours instead of rains and that was today. And today, odd things just kept showing up. Here's two of the three discs for Final Fantasy XI. It was disc one and three for PC. I had no interest in that, but it was just interesting. And then this joystick was also very interesting for, for computers way back in the day. I can't even tell you what the port that was on the end of the cable was on this joystick. I almost bought it, though, because I do have a controller collection, and this was... This was unique. And I didn't I didn't really think about it hard enough. I probably would have bought it had I thought about my controller collection harder. And here's an Xbox 360 that someone painted a PTV on. Comment below. What does that mean? Actually, don't comment below. I'll probably get out of hand. What does it mean? And I don't know. More and more weird stuff kept showing up. This Yoshi I already had, so I didn't buy him. He's already sitting on my shelf. So that poor Yoshi got left behind. Here's a Venom figure I would have loved to have had, but someone gnawed all his legs off. And then right beside it in a bunch of Mega Blocks was this Xbox. And I went back and forth on buying this Xbox for quite a while. And I, I went back to it several times, but another fresh set of books. We were here all day, so we kept getting new rotations of books. And there's just more and more and more stuff. And I'm actually going to buy every bit of this. Pretty much at the bins, even if it's an empty case, I'll buy it. Uh, and that's because that's how I get my extra replacement cases for my good games. I don't ask questions at the bins. If it's there and it's video games, I buy it. And it's it's worked out pretty well for me because I pretty much am able to keep all of my video games in really nice shape. Because the, the moment I bring home a good game with a crushed case or a, a, a smudgy uh, plastic outer shell whatsoever, I switch it with one of these games that I found here that I already have. And it's a good strat. I highly recommend it for extra cases. Go to a Goodwill Bins. Next up, a copy of Wii Fit. And we have a joke on the channel about Wii Fit, but it's kind of funny because I ended up with so many copies in the beginning because, as I've already told you, I bring all this nonsense home for the bins because of how cheap it is. 
So I just once I just ended up with 20 copies of We Fit one day because they just always show up here. But here is where things got really awesome today. I found tons of these Xbox demo discs and I just couldn't couldn't believe it. I have spent a lot of monies at regular Goodwills on these demo discs and here they are just piling up in the books at the bins. And I I searched every one of these bins top to bottom. There was not one book I did not turn over to make sure there weren't some demo discs under them because these are very valuable to me personally. And I just, I'm in disbelief still right now that they showed up at the Goodwill bins. The last time I bought some at a store, I paid a pretty penny for them. Hannah's got a little yarn going on. I guess she's tired, ready to go. I did make her stay a lot longer today than we normally would because it just kept getting awesome. We finally decided we were going to buy the Xbox that you saw earlier until I flipped it over and realized it was cracked. Which, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean it doesn't work, but... The way that things get tossed around here at the bins, that thing, that almost definitely happened here, that crack. It probably got dropped hard out of a forklift. All right, guys, we're back in the game room, and I, I don't know, this is going to be a little bit tough. How do we get through all of this? Let's t let me talk about some nonsense that I got, and then you can talk about your clothes, and then we'll talk about the video games, which I'm really excited to get to because I found some great stuff today. But first of all, we got some light bulbs which is really funny because these are just very specific light bulbs that we have in our bathroom. And instead of going to Walmart and buy them, uh, we just wait till they show up at the Goodwill bins, which two or three times now they've needed replacing. That's where we got them. Set those over there. Nerf clip. I buy every Nerf clip that I walk past in a thrift store because when you put bundles of them together, they sell really well. So I've got a lot of those. I also got, this was really interesting. Probably one of the more interesting and random things I've bought in a while. These are just little baggies of electronics. Electronic leads, there's some diodes in there, some LEDs, some uh, little bitty AC motors, some powdery white substance, don't know what that is. Uh, here's a, another motor of some sort, and then a little electronic box to build something into. I bought this because we do a lot of really weird projects here on the channel where we make stuff and I, I really have a huge interest in electronics and there, there's no end to the number of things that I've attached LEDs to. So when I find these kinds of things, I buy them. These were interesting though, I don't know if I showed these to you while we were there, but they were little uh, loot boxes. But instead of comic book or video game toys, it was little kits for kids to order the mail to make stuff. So you sign up for the subscription and once a month your kid gets sent a box with a little kid in it to build something. I don't know why somebody dumped 20 of these at the Goodwill bins, but I opened every single one of them and I took the usable electronic parts out and that's that. I was really excited about it. So I'll put... It's going to take a little bit of organizing because I actually have a sorter full of electric motors, a sorter full of LEDs, a sorter full of diodes and capacitors. So all that stuff's going to have to be filed into the stuff I already have, which I'm excited about. And I think that's all my nonsense. Do you see anything else? Nope, that's that's pretty nonsensical. And I got a ruler. <laughs> I don't know why I bought it, but I, I, have it. I have too many rulers as it is. Let's talk about your clothes. Let's run through them real quick. I got a fat stack. It's that, big. That's pretty good. It was a pretty good day. Um, all of it's like pretty solid stuff. I got a members only jacket, which if you know a lot about this brand, which I didn't before I started getting into the vintage world, it's just a really like highly sought after brand, uh, started back in the seventies, I think. Um, how old is that one? This one's not particularly old. I mean, probably like nineties at best, but, um, that was pretty cool. I sold a couple of few, a couple of those. Then I got a little denim jumpsuit. Oh, nice. A little romper. Nice. I love when I get these. They're just a solid sale. Yeah, that'll sell quick. Yeah. People cute. are super into that stuff right now. I think it makes people look like four-year-olds <laughs> in a onesie. But I like them. It's all right. Keep going. I got a couple pair of plaid tweed pants. These are like just wool. Very nice. Pants. Um, they're like a navy blue and white and then i got a pair of vintage trousers these look <laughs> straight from my grandmother's closet but cut off and made into shorts it wear these pants. your stack is looking like somebody's gr grandparents just threw their closet away. somebody's <laughs> grandparents died 
<laughs> and you took home all their stuff. I tend to lean toward grabbing that kind of stuff. I Basically, anything my grandmother would have worn, I would wear now. That's just my aesthetic. And that's how life goes. <laughs> but this is a little... Plat Speaking of which, she actually had a shirt just like this. Yeah, like so. literally that shirt. <laughs> uh, but it's just a little linen shirt. This one, another pair of plaid pants. These are green and blue plaid. I don't know if you can tell really from the um, camera, but these were probably one of my favorite finds. I knew somebody would really like that. But moving on to a dress. It's just a very Eastery dress. <laughs> there, unfolded. Yeah. That's that. Cute. Like it. East, Moving on. Eastery. <laughs> Eastery. This is also very springy Eastery. Um, little <laughs> floral. You're just going to keep throwing that L? Or <laughs> are you just going to keep throwing that Y onto the end of words? Pretty much. This is a florally dressy dress. It's, yeah, cute. Great. Moving on to army pants. Solid. Always sell these. Yeah, we sell a pair of those every couple days. Pretty much. Then, uh, these were interesting. These were a pair of overalls I wouldn't have normally picked up, but they have this, like, elastic -y strap on it. You bought them because they're elastic -y. Yeah, and then I realized later that they're, like, vintage Dickies, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, they're really cool. Very I nice. like them a lot. Um, another pair of plaid pants. There was a big old bin full of your grandmother's wardrobe. That looks, I, did, is that the second pair just like that you got? Yeah, but these are black and white. Okay. So, same, same, but different. And these were probably my favorite. Are those denim? Floral denim shorts. Printed on denim. Yes. I love, I love funky denim. And denim skirt. Oh, yeah. It's shorts. It's a skirt. It's a skirt. <laughs> Very nice. All That's right. That's my stack. So let's get into the video games. And I don't know where to start because as you can see, it's kind of a big messy pile. When you go to the Goodwill bins looking for video games, you pretty much have to expect to be let down. And I've even had some people message me or comment over on our Discord that they went to the bins for the first time after finding out what it even was on the channel and no video games whatsoever. And I usually tell those people, yeah, you're, you, you're going to have that a bunch, but you got to keep going, right? Because you just... You never know when the good stuff's going to turn up. And today, some good stuff turned up, and then a whole lot of not really great stuff, but still okay stuff. So let's just go through it. I kind of have to open these all and recheck, because there's a lot of stuff here that either doesn't have the disc in the case, or has the wrong disc in the case. But here's a complete copy of Guitar Hero uh, World Tour. Something I already have, but I even rebuy this stuff at the bins anyways, because this is all like 10 cents a piece or something. And, uh... I buy them just for the cases, just in case. Or like this one, I can trade this in for a couple bucks. Certainly a couple more bucks than I paid for it. 007, Agent Under Fire, it's complete. I believe this rock band is complete as well. It is. And then NFL 2K3. And yeah, it's complete. I just, and then here's... Uh... <laughs> Virtua for tennis and the uh, Labels currently not there. Oh, there's the label there. Yeah, <laughs> the stuff's just all tossed around So that's complete. That's cool because there's one that I don't have that I can put in my collection band hero that one's complete and then I Don't even know what this was. There's just stuff right like here's an ATV 2 off-road fury manual I have a big box. I keep this extra stuff in and if I can piece it together, I will. Here's one I don't have. National Hockey Night. Very nice. Uh, very happy to find that. And this is funny because I see this at the store all the time. But it's, this is a dollar game. Much like the Guitar Hero games and stuff I already have. This is a rock band game. But I only had to pay pennies for it. So I finally bought it. That will go in the collection. My 6,000th copy of Connect Adventures. ESPN 2K5. But it has Wii Call of Duty in it. That's the kind of thing that you'll find a lot at the bins. Uh, I wish Patrick was here filming us, which he usually is, but today he's not. Uh, he'd be very happy to see that I bought a copy of Talladega Nights because you might recall if you watched a video a couple days ago, she hadn't seen it yet, and we decided we were going to all watch it together. So, we will. Uh, we're actually leaving here in just a couple days ago on a cross-country trip, me and Patrick, so definitely subscribe for that content if you haven't already because we're going to be shooting some wild stuff on the road, leaving Hannah here alone, so... 
I got a babysit pants. Yeah, she's got a cat <laughs> sit, I guess. Uh, but we're going to watch that as soon as we get back, is why I told you we were leaving, because we're not going to watch it too soon. So don't go asking Hannah if she's seen it, if you run into her on the streets, because it's going to be a few days. Uh, Xbox 360 Connect, Disneyland. I've got several copies of that, too. And then, let's start getting into the better stuff. I have a passing admiration for World of Warcraft, and I've wanted to make a World of Warcraft shelf just because this stuff is so easily accessible. But every time it's at the thrift store for six bucks, like that has a sticker on it, I, I'm not going to buy that. It's not worth this to me because this is unplayable. You can't put this in the computer now and play it. Uh, but I do like it. I still do like it. There's always some cool stuff in these. And I would like to get one of each expansion and put it all on one shelf. So I only buy them when they show up at the Goodwill bins. So I finally bought this one today. I see it on the shelves all the time. Burning Crusade. Put it in the collection. Now, I got a PSP UMD. But it's not all that it's cracked up to be. Because it says that it's the bench warmers, Right? And you open it up. What's inside? Don't mess with the Zohan. Is that what it's called? Or nobody messes with the Zohan? I think it's dope. You don't mess with the Zohan. I've actually never seen it. So maybe we'll have to watch this one too. I've seen that one actually. Really? Well, yeah. my buddy at the bins today when we were looking at this, he says, it's one of those movies that's so stupid that it becomes good. And I was like, I like that. I'm into that. Probably the most important thing that I got today. Another copy of We Fit. And it's really funny because, you know, we have an ongoing meme here on the channel about me and We Fit. I've even had some awesome viewers send me copies of We Fit from their country. Which is wild. That's probably the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. Uh, but we've got two different copies from Australia. We Fit and We Fit Plus. But it's kind of funny because a lot of people ask, well, why don't you buy the We Fit when you're out at the thrift stores? I, I, I pretty much only buy them when I find them at the bins because, again, this was pennies. Yeah. So we'll put this on the shelf with the rest of the We Fit. And hopefully, I, I love finding We Fit at the Goodwill bins because I want to have the world record of We Fit. All right, let's get into the last thing that I got. I'm so happy about this, okay? But, <laughs> this is kind of difficult. Had I reach over there and get the Xbox uh, demo discs, my stack, it's the stack on the right. I've got a bunch of these, and I'm only getting more. Let's talk about these before we talk about the new ones, okay? There's something that kind of concerns me, and it's that, uh, hold on, I've got so many of them, i got to find one's a good example. It, it kind of concerns me because I wonder if these just weren't at the Goodwill that I bought these at. Because I pretty much bought these all at the same place. And uh, these all have stickers on them, but no one bought them. Even on Half Off Day. These were $3.99 at the Goodwill. Right? Oh my god! And that means that even on Half Off Day, nobody was spending $2 on these. Which probably just means I'm dumb for wanting to spend so much money. Matter of fact, I got a little bit of shade whenever I made the video where I found these. Because we spent about 100 bucks on them. And someone's like, man, you could have bought a lot of nice stuff with 100 bucks, but I have a huge obsession for demo discs. So I'm just perplexed that I didn't go to the Goodwill these were at and get them all for two bucks. Well, I guess it's good I didn't, yeah, because I got out. this whole stack for uh, for less than a dollar, right? And there's one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine of them. There's nine total. Which means had I paid full price for them, it would have almost been 40 bucks. Right? So I'm glad they, this is one of my best finds at the Goodwill Bins in a long time. I'm not complaining. Don't get me wrong. I'm just perplexed that no one bought them at the regular store. I just don't know how that happened. But let's talk about the ones that I got. Uh, it's funny because I think this whole stack, there's only one in here that I already had. And it's the King Kong one. But we'll get to that. Uh, Hitman. Number 57. Hitman. And then number 46. MotoGP. Xbox Demo Disc. I love me some demo discs. Driver, parallel lines, what number is that? Number 56. It's really big on the back in case you Yeah, it. well I see that now. <laughs> sure wish I could read. And then here's the one I did have. Number 53, Peter Jackson's King Kong. I have the actual game of this on multiple systems. but uh, And I have two of the demo discs now. 42, Splinter Cell. Very nice. And then Special Call of Duty 2, number 54. I'm really happy this is filling some holes in my Xbox Demo Disc collection. Uh, wow, I don't see a number on this, do you? I don't. Oh, this isn't? This okay. Beta. I think Xbox Game Disc, it still has the same Xbox Game Disc, but this is this one's not numbered. This may have actually not been in the magazines. It probably was, but it was just some other special. The Final Fantasy XI, oh, I did not even realize. <laughs> oh, okay, so I lied. I already had a couple. Uh, so, 
we got that's part of it is right yes. on top <laughs> so we've already got one of those not really sure what the difference between this and the rest of them are if you happen to be watching and you're an xbox demo disc uh specialist comment and let me know why that was different but uh i'll find out sooner or later battlefield 2 modern combat number 47 and then jade empire number 43 i'm so excited about these words can't express because i've said this a few times when i bought demo discs in the past because i have a stack even bigger than this for playstation demo discs i'm going to make custom cases right this is an xbox 360 case but i'm going to get an xbox case and i'm going to create custom artwork for it and then basically i'm just going to put the disc in the tray for each one slide that bad boy in there and i'm going to display them all on a shelf uh, just like the regular video games I don't know why, but that gets me going, just the idea of creating this custom artwork for these cases for both my PlayStation and my Xbox games. Because, you know, I am very obsessed with collecting complete collections for most of these systems sitting here behind me. And this is just something that one of these days, when I'm probably an old man and I've retired from my YouTube career and I'm just going to spend my last years dwindling down and playing video games... I want to walk into a room and have access not only to complete collections, but just neat little complete collections like this. It's just something else for me to complete. I don't know. Does anybody else get excited about weird stuff like that? Comment below because your boy Tindo does. Let's talk about our favorite stuff that we got today. What's your favorite thing that we got? That's a tough call. Um, probably the floral denim shorts. Those are pretty Let's cute. see them. These babies. Those are unique. They're super cute. I like them. What brand are they? Um, Something weird. Not guilty. <laughs> I love vintage tags. They're always really That's weird. That's awesome. <laughs> well, I don't have to tell you what my favorite thing that I got today was. I'm very happy about these demo discs. This PSP UMD would have been a close second had it been the full one, but that's okay because just like all my other video game stuff, I keep extras and I'll probably complete this in another way. Uh, we're looking to go to some gaming expos in the near future, any of them that we can find, and it's little things like that I'm going to keep a list of to find other pieces to complete stuff. I'm very excited about this haul. What do you guys think? Do you, do you guys like bringing home junk hauls of stuff that you don't need if you get it for nothing? Because I'm telling you, my game stuff right here, what would you say all that cost? Like, uh, four bucks? Yeah. Three bucks? Less than ten, for sure. Yeah, way less than ten. I mean, th th these probably weigh more than a couple of these games, and yeah, I'm happy with it. I could not be more happy about this haul. Do comment below, guys. What was your favorite thing? Comment below. Let us know how thrifting is going in your area right now. We're curious. And also, go join our community Discord. I mentioned it a minute ago. It's just a cool place where we all chat about video games. We post the stuff that we found. People are sharing pictures of their game rooms. We have a section where people keep showing off their cats and dogs. We also have a section where people show the cool foods that they eat or cook etc etc it's fun it's really a good time you don't have to go spend a lot of time over there just check it out when you can just let us know when you find something cool at the thrift store i show a little sneak peek sometimes the stuff i find before the videos go live it's a good time to go join but here on youtube most important of all hit the subscribe button for us please we've been going up in subscribers and we just have this huge goal to get to a thousand i want to get to a thousand so bad i can taste it and we've went up with a lot of subs the last two days. So, over this holiday period, if you could... That's what I want for a Thanksgiving Day present. An early birthday present for Tindo. Hit the subscribe button. That's all. And when you do, make sure that you hit that bell notification. What that'll do is turn on your notifications. And when we post these videos in the future and go all... Go all out shopping, thrift shopping. You'll get a notification. You can come back and hang out with us then. And until then, guys. Peace out.